Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to vlog number four. Let's see, how am I going to start this one out? Let's see, I don't have a new song to record uh, because I stopped recording because I don't know how the heck we're going to be tracking this. We are either going to, I think I mentioned it in the last one, we're going to do one really solid single track. We might double track it or we might triple track it where we have one take right down the middle and then a hard left and a hard right take. So we're not sure yet, so I'm not going to keep recording until I know what the heck I'm going to be doing. Other So instead, this week, I'm going to be writing a song. Uh, by this week, I mean this day, because this is the only day I have off. And I also want to do something else. I do this every year about this time, um, for anyone that follows me on Facebook. There we go. I don't look like I'm jaundiced now. So every year, I put up what my goals are for the year. For some reason, I seem to do it at the end of February, and it came up in my Facebook history thing, so I decided I would do one today as well. So yeah, let's go through that. I'll go through what I had last year, and then I'll go through what I put down this year. Okay, so last year, the post I made on Facebook was, I did this last year, I'll do it again. Uh, my goals for the next year, which were 2017, was gain recognition and build a relationship with Ovation, which I did for the most part. Um... I, I had a relationship going with them, and then their uh, artist relations guy left, and apparently the company is kind of in like a weird phase right now. Um, but I did get some headway with that, and it worked out really well in my favor, so I'm going to count that one as a <laughs> nailed it. Um, Built a relationship with Candy Rat Records. Did not do that, unfortunately, but um, there are reasons for that, which I'll get into later. Over the next two years, tour with either Covet, Little Tybee, or Ian, Ethan, Case. So I've still got this year to do that. Obviously, I didn't do that this year. Um, and start playing shows with my upcoming metal act. I don't even know what that was. So <laughs> that one obviously was a no. So essentially, the only one I did last year was uh, the gain recognition and relationship with Ovation, which is cool with me. I dig it. So this year, so I put, I've done this the last two years. Uh, about this time, I love encouraging others to do it because I do. Every time I've put this little, little, this is what I want to do with my year, uh, I get a bunch of people that tag me in it and put their stuff because I feel like it's really cool to, I guess, make it into fruition, like what you want to have done that year. As ridiculous as it sounds and um, as ridiculous as it is, no matter how big of a dream or whatever you want to do, I think it's really important to put it out there um, because it's like once you once you write it down or once you make it a thing, then you can't take it back. Like, it's not just in your head. You actually put it out there, which sounds kind of stupid, but it's just me, and I'm a weirdo. So I've done this the last two years. Blah, 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 blah. So number one, get my own company started and uh, start my road to being independently stable financially, which is cool, and there will be a vlog on that. Yeah, it's a few months out of the way, but don't worry. That's cool. Um, get on tour or a short string of tours uh, with either a Candy Rat record artist. So this is non going from the last one. Um, I put in parentheses Ian Ethan Case because he's amazing. And I've been talking with him a lot. And as I mentioned in the previous vlog, he's going to be doing a solo. And uh, he's a really cool dude. I, I'd love to, to do some shows with him. Um, or Covet, Little Tybee, or any similar act. Um, hit 10k subs on YouTube or, or yeah 10k subs on YouTube and 10,000 likes on Facebook the Facebook one I, is easy um, I feel like I've gotten their algorithm down pretty good when it comes to their ads and stuff like that so I've been spending very very little and having a very very high uh, return on investment I guess you'd say on that um, the YouTube one's gonna be tough but I feel like being consistent and putting these out every week is gonna help a lot uh, keep up with releasing vlogs every week and release my album, which I'm insanely proud of, and gain, gain traction with it before name of 2019. So that's cool. And um, I feel like doing this is pushing me to finish the album as well and get it done in a timely manner. Um, obviously, as I mentioned earlier in the vlog, we hit a little stump or bump in the road with this one, um, just because I don't know how we're recording it. But I feel once I have everything down and once everything's kind of organized, I'm going to rip through most of the CD. Yeah, so today we're going to be writing a song. So I have my beautiful friend here, uh, who I've put in yet another open tuning. And I've had a couple people ask me, how the heck do I like get these tunings? Uh, because as of right now, I've got nine songs written for this CD and seven different tunings. I will do one of two things. One of them is I will uh, take a standard tune guitar and mess around on it and find a chord that I really like. And then I'll try to figure out a tuning 
to fit around that chord. The other one I'll do is <laughs> listen to guys like Annie McKee, uh, Don Ross, people like that, and I'll pick through some of the tunings that they've used, and then I'll adapt it to the H string, uh, which is what I've done for this. So I've got this in the tuning for Blue Liquid, I think, and I added two lower notes to it, lower strings. And the way that I'll decide if I want to write a song in a tuning usually comes from how comfortable I am with it. So I'll put a song in a tuning, I'll give myself like five minutes. If I don't start liking what's coming out, then I'll just poof, scrap it, pick a new tuning, mess with the new tuning, find a new tuning. Um, but I started messing with this and I really like it. And it's really... It seems like a pretty fun tuning, it's pretty laid back. Um, so I'm going to try and write a, um, a song for the Key West Lazy River, which is one I've been messing with for a while and I haven't had any luck with it. Now, I've taken this note from my beloved Angel Vivaldi. Um, a lot of times when I'm writing music, I'm in my studio, which is dark and yellow, as you see through most of the videos. So what I'm going to be doing is Instead of, because I know Angel for his last CD, he would paint his studio different colors like a crazy man um, to, whatever, invoke different emotions. So what I'm going to be doing is I live in Florida, and it's gorgeous here. Uh, so I'm going to go find a really pretty place. Since this is supposed to be a lazy river, I'll probably find like a little river or I'll go to beach or something like that. And I'm just going to sit there for probably an hour or so, mess with playing with this tuning, and see if I can't come up with something I like. So let's see what happens. Well, this place looks gorgeous, so ironically, there just happens to be a park up on that and start writing music, but first, just appreciate how So I've been sitting here for like uh, an hour-ish, and I wish I could have documented the whole me doing all this, but uh, I don't have enough battery on my camera because 
I would be recording for an entire hour. So far, this is what I've got, and the, the further I'm getting into the song, the less I'm feeling like it's going to be the Lazy River song, which has been like the scourge of my existence, is writing a song that reminds me of a lazy river. Um, so I've still got a couple other songs that I, I need to write. So this might be one of those instead of the Lazy River one, but here's a really, really rough version of what I've figured out since sitting on a park bench outside in 85 degree weather. Obviously, that sounded terrible, but uh, I think it's got some solid ideas, so I'm going to work with it, I guess. But I'm really sweaty out here, so I'm going to go home now and then figure out what parts of that I don't like, which parts I do like, and go from there. Alright guys, well thank you for checking out vlog number four. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, of course, you can always drop a like and uh, let me know in the comments anything else you would like me to see me do or put in these things. Um, also, don't forget to check out my Facebook, Instagram, um, as well as my Patreon page, uh, which I'll put all in the description below. Uh, but thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you again next week.